How's it going guys, DD Stealth here, and I just wanted to bring you a quick um, guide to Hitman Blood Money to get an achievement. It's to display all of your weapons in the hideout. This is the first, very first level. It's a more of a tutorial level. Uh, the first guy you kill, which was the guy torturing the guy on like a ride rideable pony or something like that, had an SLP-40. That's like the most common gun in the game, so everybody's going to have it. If you miss that, it's no big deal, even though you're supposed to pick it up. The second one is kind of hard to miss, or not, it's kind of, yeah, kind of hard to miss. This is the TMP. It's right next to that guy who uses a human shield. Uh, it's just sitting on the sink right there, so that can be hard to miss. You can just walk right by that without ever seeing it. You grab that real quick. That's on a, another level, which is going to be next, but why not just grab it there? The third one on this map is going to be the Dragonoff. It's a sniper rifle that you you can't miss this one. It has you have to pick it up and shoot some people with it. There's three of them. Three of them bitches dead. And then there is a fourth one on this map. Besides, there's even more SLP 40s. There's a Desert Eagle. So after you blow up these these bitches down there with your Ruap mine. I don't know how to pronounce that. Blow that up. And then one guy survived. It was like a purple pimp. But luckily he was the one that had the Desert Eagle. So he runs up to me and he's like, hey, take my Desert Eagle. So I'm like, I I'm going to take your hose too. And you shoot him and you pick up his Desert Eagle. So I thank you. Shot to the face. And then you escape. Next one is a Vintage Year. There's, this one's pretty easy because two of your targets, the two targets on the map have guns that you can take and that will count towards the achievement. This guy has a TMP which you could also pick up on the last one on the sink. So he's, I don't know his name, I, I can't remember, but he has the TMP. There's a, there's multiple shotguns on this map which I'm going to show you in just a moment. So any guy that is dressed like this like a safari safari guide I don't know what what they're doing but any guy dressed like this has a shotgun as you can see there's a few of them on the map but they all have shotguns two shots each any guy that looks like this is a VIP guard he's gonna have the what's it called the SF SAF SMG there's a few of them on the map my easiest option is going to kill this guy on the couch which is right next to your second target because he's just chilling there and then I don't think anybody like looks at him to find the body and then there's a second easiest way which is as you're about to escape which is nice because you're just about to escape there's two guards one just fell into the ocean so I can pick up his gun this and then this guy right here he's usually napping but my gun woke him up and you could take the SF SAF SMG from him too and then escape so that's like the last thing and then there's your second target he's playing the cello you can just shoot him in the face or however you want usually you fiber wire him don't know why I didn't do that but he has a snub nosed you can take that from him so those are the four easiest not easiest ones you can get on that map to count towards the achievement See, the next one I think is Murder of Crows. Oh, nope, A New Life. This one doesn't have that many. It only has two. One of them is hard to miss because there's nobody carrying around. Got to have some donuts first. Get some uh, USA soup. USA. FBI soup. So this one, I it was kind of hard to miss because it's in the guard quarters. None of the guards are carrying it around. You have to specifically pick it up out of that box to get it. Uh, it's marked on the map by a star with an S in it. And you can pick that up. Uh, the second one is going to be the Bowl 480, which is your target has it. So you can, when you kill him, you can just pick that up. That one's pretty easy. You can't really miss that one. This one is a Murder of Crows. All right. So this one's got quite a few. This is one of the ones that you're going to have to play more than once, just because it's got two, two rifle type guns that you can't conceal. So you can only carry one out. So you're going to have to play it at least twice to get all the weapons on this map. Uh, this bitch right here, Angela, Angela, Angelina, whatever you want to call her. She's got the SLP-40 silenced, 
I'm assuming the SLP-40S is S for silence, because it is silence. So you kill her, you take her gun, and then you get the walkie and obviously her gun, which she will tell you, or the walkie will tell you which, where your next target is. He'll be in one of three places, and he will have two guns. Um, the Desert Eagle, you can already get, and another person on this map has it. But that's, I believe this one's Raymond. So he has a Desert Eagle, and then he has the, I believe it's the Kazo TRG. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. I'm not a gun maker or a Russian, or whatever race of gun that is. But he had the Desert Eagle. You shoot him in the face, take his clothes, he neck it, and then you go and look at the Kazo TRG. This is one of the rifles, which is not concealable. You'll have to walk around, so people will be like, hey, that bird's got a gun, and then they'll try and shoot you. So that's not good. The uh, third, third one, fourth one, is the MP9, which any yellow bird, they're like bodyguard birds. I don't know why they're all birds. But I guess because they're crows, but crows aren't yellow. But any yellow bird, he's got the MP9. There's not too many of these. I think there's like five of them on the map. They're all clustered together. So there's the MP9. And then there's an easier way to get it, kind of. There's a box. It's right underneath your last target. So just look to your left before you go upstairs, and you'll see an, another MP9. Uh, this guy, he's got yet another Desert Eagle. So you don't really need that. But you can get the ammo for it if you want. I don't know. Should be near the level anyway, so you shouldn't need that much ammo. And then he's got the second rifle, which is the SG-552. This is one of the ones, it's a rifle that you cannot conceal. So you can either pick this one or the Kazo TRG to carry out. And then come back again for the second one. On Death on the Mississippi, this one's got a bunch of ones that I've already showed you, but you can grab any of those guys. We'll have the, damn it, Snub Nose. Any of those guys right there will have the Bull 480s. Uh, this guy who decides to share a toilet with some half-naked dude will have the Desert Eagle. And then he's sitting there like yelling at you about some cake, explaining to you what cake is, and then he tells you to go get some. So he deserves to die. He's a dick. So he'll have the Desert Eagle. And then one, it's kind of hard to miss again. Last one on this one is going to be the FN2000. This is in the Staff Quarters second deck. I'm not sure. I'll show you the map where it is specifically. Yep, second deck, Staff Quarters. So that one can be hard to miss. Because no one's carrying it around again. But it's marked by a giant exclamation point. So if you know where to look... Bam! That's where it is. Until Death Do Us Part, one of my favorite levels. You can get a six-shooter from these civilian party guests. I don't know what you want to call them. But any guy who looks like that, so black pants, overalls, white shirt, a hat, will have the six-shooter. And then there is also another shotgun on this map, which any guy who's dressed like that will have a shotgun. So he's a, a gang member. And then there's the elephant rifle. So this is one of the ones, if you didn't get the shotgun on a separate map, that you will have to do twice just to get it. That's where the elephant rifle is. That one can be hard to miss, just like the FN2000. But that's where that one is. This is the last level of the game. There's three specific guns that you can get. There's the M14, which is right there. All the Marines have it. And then there's the... Uh, again, there's a box of it, so you don't need to kill a marine or, you know, put him to sleep or anything like that to gear up that. And that's right, be the exit, so you can save that to last and just walk out with it. Uh, there are these guys, which are Secret Service. They will have the MP5s. I was out of syringes, or sedative syringes, and I didn't want to deal with the metal detector, so I didn't have a gun to take him as a human shield and knock him out, so I had to poison him. But any of those guys have the MP5s, which are the Secret Service. The last one on this level will be the Custom 1911, which is this guy. He's one of your targets. He's Mark something, something or other. And he yells at you, blah, blah, blah. And then you kill him eventually. No spoilers. Won't tell you how. 
but he has the 1911 and then on your way out you can just grab the M14 like I said this isn't the only way to get those weapons but that's in my opinion it's the most efficient here's just a list of where some weapons are for you in case you want to try a different way but other than that this is a request so you you can tell me if you want me to do something else and I will try to do that for you otherwise uh, subscribe maybe like maybe comment I don't know but I'll love you forever if you come back for more thank you adios